So if you don't know what happened recently, Jeremy Lin was targeted by by some random person who called him coronavirus on the court. According to ESPN, being a nine-year NBA veteran doesn't protect me from being called coronavirus on the court. Jeremy Lin detailed the racism that he and other Asian Americans have experienced. And uh, ESPN has a screenshot of his, I think that must be his Instagram post, which says, something is changing in the generation of Asian Americans. We are tired of being told that we don't experience racism. We are tired of being told to keep our heads down and not make trouble. We are tired of Asian American kids growing up and being asked where they're really from, of having our eyes mocked, or being objectified as exotic, or being told we're inherently unattractive. We are tired of the stereotypes in Hollywood affecting our physique and limiting who we think we can be. We are tired of being invincible, of being mistaken for our colleague or told our struggles aren't as real. I want better for my elders who worked so hard and sacrificed so much to make a life for themselves here. I want better for my niece and nephew and future kids. I want better for the next generation of Asian Americans at least and to have work to work so hard just to just be the psychically athletic. Being an Asian American doesn't mean we don't experience poverty and racism. Being a nine-year NBA veteran doesn't protect me from being called coronavirus on the court. Being a man of faith doesn't mean I don't fight for justice for myself or others. So here we are again sharing how we feel. Is anyone listening? Okay, so now I have a clip for you. We're going to take a look at one of the interviews that Jeremy Lin did with the news media as he speaks about as he speaks out about his experience of racism as he was called the coronavirus on court. We turn now to NBA veteran Jeremy Lin, now with the Golden State Warriors G League team in Santa Cruz, who recently spoke out in a Facebook post writing, we are tired of being told to keep our heads down and not make trouble. Being an Asian American doesn't mean we don't experience poverty and racism. Being a nine-year NBA veteran doesn't protect me from being called coronavirus on the court. And we're being joined now by Jeremy Lin, an icon in the Asian American community. And Jeremy, the league has said it's investigating the slur you faced on the court, but you have said you don't have any interest in naming or shaming the player involved. But just give us a sense of how you reacted in that moment and what motivated you to speak out now. You know, I think the biggest thing for me, and we, you know, I debated whether to talk about it or not, but I felt like I want to bring awareness towards not me, it's not what I went through or I'm not some hero for going, it's, it's what's going on off the court in real life with people who are dealing with actual physical attacks and things of that nature and people who feel unsafe walking around and people who are left on the street helpless and people are getting stabbed in the back. Like these are the, the, the real stories that, that need to be talked about and, and uh, people need to hear about them. We know the NBA has taken a pretty vocal stand in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and other social justice causes. Are they doing anything to make sure that you're being treated respectfully? And I'm curious, what's the response been from your fellow players? Relative to what is going on and what people are doing, people are fighting for their lives. People are physically, seriously going 
life-threatening things and, and people have gotten burned, people have gotten stabbed, people have gotten punched and pushed over, we have elderly who are being attacked. Like, And so for me, it's actually, it's, the way I kind of see this is it's, 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 a, it's a very small microcosm of what is actually going on off the court and things that are happening that are way more serious and and so it is a little bit uncomfortable but the NBA and, and every and everybody within the organization and, and outside has been amazingly supportive. As a basketball player, you're in a role few Asian American men are in. I'm curious, have you ever felt like you had to prove your Americanness? Have you grappled with being treated as an other in both your professional and your private life? I mean, that's my whole life. Uh, you know, I've always kind of been the, the token Asian guy, or um, I've always had to, you know, prove and, and prove myself a little bit more. And knowing that in, in a lot of situations, if I'm even with somebody else, you know, then, then I'm behind, basically. These are things that I've kind of grown up my whole life with, and, and knowing that, hey, uh, this might not be or it won't be a play, even playing field. And um, But I think through it all, God has continued to use me. And, Um, when the next Asian or Asian American comes along that, you know, hopefully that it won't be as difficult for them or they won't have be labeled as deceptively athletic or they won't have to uh, fight as hard or fight uphill to be able to show what they can do. Jeremy Lane, such an important conversation. We really appreciate you taking the time to join us tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, Jeremy Lin, he did not deserve to be called a deadly virus by some person who probably has a outstanding hatred for Asian Americans, which, yeah, it has been going on for years. I mean, racism continues affecting not just black Americans, but Asian Americans. And I do think that it's time for a change. I do think that we need to, we need to stop calling Asian Americans these types of names, especially when you're called a deadly virus, which To, to, to my knowledge, not every Asian American, all Asian Americans have nothing to do with the coronavirus. Just because they were, bo they were born in this country doesn't mean that they have anything to do with the coronavirus. Yes, the coronavirus may have came from China, but it is that doesn't mean that stupid people out there should be bullying Jeremy Lin or any other Asian American, just like what happened last year. When COVID started, lots of Asian Americans have been like, made fun of, bullied, or insulted just because of a stupid deadly virus that former President Donald Trump could not control at this time until a few months later when America decided that enough is enough. And now we have a new president in the White House. But that doesn't mean that that racism among Asian Americans are not gonna stop. It's going to continue, unfortunately, and that's why Jeremy Lin had to speak up now. Because he was called coronavirus I believe it was just a couple of days ago in February and again for somebody to 
go out of their way and do that. If you're one of those people who called Germulin a deadly virus, neat, which is named the coronavirus, you have got to be the most stubborn, the most saddest person that ever existed on planet Earth. You have no more morals or sympathy for anyone in our country. And for and for that, you should be ashamed of yourself for calling people like Jeremy Lin a, a deadly virus. How dare you do that? Seriously. I just hope the best for Jeremy Lin and hopefully the the racist attacks against Asian Americans just because of a deadly virus which has nothing to do with Asian Americans will have to stop. I just hope that we can all live in a perfect harmony once again when this virus ends. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. Nobody.